Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new built-in feature for Emacs 27. The built-in feature that I want to show you is tab bar mode. Tab bar mode enables you to save buffer configurations in separate tabs, so that you can quickly switch between different buffer setups on the fly. So, let's get right to it. So, let's switch to our Emacs. And in order to activate tab bar mode, we enter tab minus bar minus node. And as you can see, we get the confirmation down here that tab bar mode is now enabled. And we get this tab bar line in the GUI top at the top. And as you can see, the name of the buffer or at the name of the current tab is the name of the buffer that's currently displayed. That means as soon as we switch the buffer, the name will also change, which I will demonstrate in a second. Uh, we have this little plus here where we can add uh, further tabs and we can click on the tabs in order to uh, switch to different tabs. And we have these little axes here with which we can, um, we can close the tabs again. So let's take a look at the hotkeys. And as I mentioned before, as you can see, the name of our tab switches as soon as we switch the buffer. Uh, we can, of course, permanently name a tab. This is done via the control X, T and R. As you can see, it's called tab rename. Let's do it real quick. As soon as we hit the, uh, the hotkey combination, we have the query down here, new name for the tab. And we can, for example, call it keyboard hotkeys. So as soon as we have renamed the tab, it will be displayed at the top. And we can now basically switch buffers as much as we want and uh, go to any buffer we like, but the name is still going to stay the same. Another cool thing is we can open a new file in a different tab, which is find file other tab. And this is Control X, T, Control F. And as you can see, again, we get the little query down here. We can uh, change, change buffers. Let's maybe go into this one. And as you can see, the new file is going to be opened in a separate tab. And we can switch between tabs basically the same way that you are used to from your web browser. So we can hit Control and Tab and we're instantly in the next buffer. So let's quickly go over the most useful hotkeys that we have. Uh, you're probably not going to select a tab bar uh, by name, but what's pretty pretty nice is of course uh, opening a new tab, which is uh, Control X, T and 2. As you can see, now we have the scratch tab open. We can uh, close it again by pressing Control X, T and 0. We can close another tab by uh, pressing Control X, T1. As you can see, our second tab is gone. We can open it again, Control X, T1, and it's gone. Then, of course, we can switch to a buffer on the other tab. We can directly go to Dired, for example, we can uh, hit Control X, T and D. And as soon as we hit Enter, we get a new tab and of course we are directly in Dired mode. Find File and Other Tab is basically the same thing as uh, we did before. Tab Move means that we can uh, move the tab in our, <coughs> in our tab line sorry, at the top. As you can see, Control X T M moves uh, our tab to the right. Control X T O is the same as hitting Control Tab, so it's basically the same. We're just switching to the next to the next tab. And what you're probably not going uh, to use that often is Project Other Tab command. So, what is Tab Bar Mode actually useful for? So what tab bar mode does, or what the tab does, is it saves your window configuration. So let's split the window horizontally and let's split it vertically. So in this tab, I have now split my window three ways, as you can see. But as soon as I switch tabs to my scratch tab, we have a completely different window, uh, window um, orientation or window configuration. So what you can do is you can save your window configuration 
but the buffers are all shared. So all buffers that I have opened in the Emacs session are the same across all tabs. So I can switch to any buffer. The buffers are not private to a certain tab. But the window configuration, as you can see, as soon as I switch back, is still the same. So this can be pretty useful, for example, if you have uh, a separate um, tab for your to-do lists or your calendar and you can just quickly switch uh, to your calendar and take a look, switch back, bam, you have your same same window configuration still. So I hope I could give you a nice little overview or quick little overview of uh, what tab bar actually is and what it can be useful for. I personally enjoy using tab bar mode a lot. Uh, I use it every day. I have my to-do lists and my org agenda in a separate tab. So, thanks for watching.